Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Alex Barnes, Kansas State running back. And one of the things that's notable about his game right off the bat is his acceleration and cutting ability. Watch this cut. Look as you see the safety come downhill. Watch the cut with the jab step that works to the outside shoulder, well outside the shoulder to break across the chest right here of that defender. When you can really set up a defender by getting outside their bubble, and that's right there, that's a good outside your bubble kind of jab step that's going to force that defender to turn his hips. And one of the things that Barnes is very good at is he is a good gap runner. He has the the acceleration and the strength. And if you can allow him to just get downhill and make one move in the open field, he's going to do well for you. Patience and power are also trademarks of his game. You're going to see him here work Patiently to the left side, press that, and then break it back inside. And watch right here. You see the defender wrapping him high. Look at him pull that defender along for another five yards here. Really another six to seven. But you can see the nice little job chopping the feet, waiting for that cut back as he starts to see the defender getting penetration to the left side and getting that, getting doing a good job of being able to hold down this outside area, but he doesn't immediately cut there. See how he continues to just kind of slow his stride, cut his stride length so that he can set up the cut back inside. He doesn't make an immediate cut or an immediate reversal of field. He's patient and then finds the cut back and then he gets yards on his own through this defensive end who wraps him, what, about a half a yard past the line of scrimmage? Good work. Here's that taxi cab taking another Oklahoma State defender for a ride. I mean, that's two defenders here climbing on him about two yards past the line of scrimmage, and he gets another three. Good strength. Good body lean as well. Barnes has underrated footwork. It's nothing unbelievably dynamic when you take a look at it at first glance. But the ability here to kind of jab out, you know, inside out and to avoid the penetration, work around his puller, stay with him, kind of work his feet around the legs of number 74 who gets stifled about right here and still be able to lean forward and get the yardage he needs. He has a really nice body lean to his run. and allows him to be able to bleed yards. And you can see that right there. And the quickness, you know, certainly we saw that at the combine, but it shows up on tape. Just have to look at what he does in relation to his blocking scheme, and you get a better sense of that quickness on display as well as the footwork. He also has good vision for gap scheme. And oftentimes people will look at a play like this and say, well, he ran on top of his blocker. That's not a good play. But sometimes you have to contextualize what's going on here. This is third and one. He's trying, he sees the crease come available about right here. And he knows that this is going to be a quick penetrating play by the defense. He needs to get through that crease. He's just trying to get minimal yards here. And so if he has to run through his defender's back a little bit, trip him up a bit right there to get downhill, he's going to do that. If you look carefully, you can see some of that strength and balance on display against lighter defenders. You're going to see number one here coming to the left hash, and he's going to greet Barnes off of this block, and it's going to be an indirect angle, and watch him get, just get knocked backwards a step with the way Barnes, with that lean and then just delivering contact with that shoulder. Whenever you see a defender who is able to have his feet on the ground 
when he establishes contact. And that contact forces a foot off the ground and then both feet off the ground while he's being wrapped at the legs. That's a pretty strong dude. Barnes is also an excellent receiver. We're going to see him run this kind of bullet or wheel up the, up the seam here. More of a wheel. One-handed catch. Takes the contact. You can see he's a mismatch for a defensive back or a, a smaller linebacker. I mean, that's a smaller linebacker, number one. That's the guy he basically lifted off his feet. But he's also able to track the ball over his shoulder, make the one-handed grab, and have the ability as well to be able to prepare for that hit. Here's another display of balance and footwork. Cutting ability, good catch over the shoulder here. Nice cut right away here to get downhill of the screen. Nice jab and cut across on number one. I mean, when you can cut across a guy's face like that and your jab step starts well outside that defender, of course the defender was trying to break inside. It makes it a little more dramatic, but here's another nice cut right there. And you can see the, the toe point too. See how his toes point on each cut to where he wants to go? It's good work. We've got a one more full time here. Toe point right there. Toe point right here. Good job. This little play is one of my favorites from Alex Barnes' portfolio of work this year because as he faces one of these better prospects along the defensive line, watch what happens as number 90 comes down the line here and just thinks he can deliver a hit right there in the back and drop Barnes. Barnes just slides right off of that and gets another six yards on this play. That's good pad level. That's good leg strength to get hit in the back like that and to be able to maintain your feet and drive through that and then hit a defensive back after that and rebound off him. This is a strong running back who can catch, who can cut, who can accelerate. And runs zone pretty darn well. Not zone, excuse me. Runs gap plays pretty darn well. I can see why people make the stylistic comparisons to David Johnson. Is he as dynamic as David Johnson? I don't think so. Is he good enough to see an NFL field and produce? Yes, absolutely. Alex Barnes, good football player. He needs to improve his blocking a little bit. Zone plays, he can get a little bit better in terms of his patience level. Need to see a little more experience or a little bit more exposures of him running those types of plays. But gap style plays, this guy could be a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room as my YouTube channel and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com. Let's take a look at it from the close-up view. I think they're going to show it here. Yeah, it's a good way to end it.